bitches. It's the misanthropic one, aka he who hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Nothing makes me happier than when a person who does something that is blatantly wrong and something that they know is wrong nothing makes me happier than seeing them get their just desserts i i i fucking love that i i could that shit makes me smile it, it makes me fucking ecstatic inside that's one of the things that makes me happy in life when seeing motherfuckers that do shit that that's so fucked up and so contemptuous and, and 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 thinking they're gonna get away with murder then they get caught up in their own shit that type of shit gets me off you guys have no fucking idea this story takes place in Sydney Australia I'm sure y'all have heard about it this video that recently came out has gone viral of course fucking YouTube took it down but whatever <clears throat> it's about bullying and y'all know how I feel about that shit I fucking hate bullying I hate the fact that it's become an epidemic now it's become somewhat a norm and people are stupidly or I should say idly sitting by and accepting it and um, this video that came out just gave me some new found fucking hope showing that motherfuckers aren't gonna take this shit anymore so this kid named Casey Haynes correct me if I'm saying his last name wrong is just an average 16 year old going to school doing his thing or whatever and he's being tormented by a 12 year old kid named Richard Gale and um, if I could find a video on the net I'll try and post it up in the link you motherfuckers have got to see this shit and understand my happiness after seeing this video um, I'll try and describe it for you if I can't find it. <clears throat> this kid, um, Casey, you know, he's just doing his thing, whatever. The video starts out with him looking at this um, kid, Richard Gale, who's tormenting him. And Richard just is standing in front of him, taunting him. Then Richard just punches him dead in his face. And... Richard's still standing in front of him like a fucking boxer, throwing punches at him and whatnot. Then, the moment of truth comes. Fucking Casey can't take it anymore and just just unloads on him. Punches, lands a few punches, then picks fucking Richard up and body slams him. Like, right on his head and his fucking back. And... Whoa, I gotta say, I'm giving a thumbs up to Casey for that. You you get my my complete respect for that shit. I mean, it I did kind of feel uh Richard's pain with that body slam. It did look excessive, but you know what? Richard, you had it fucking coming. Next time, you'll think twice about who the fuck you're fucking with. It's that simple. And any parent that's watching this that thinks I'm cold-hearted for having this opinion, you know what? You need to sit there and teach your fucking kids not to be fucking with anybody. It's that simple. Because you don't know what's going through the next man's mind or the next female's mind or whatever. I don't put nothing past nobody. It's that simple. And I am so happy that this video came out. Um, I think it needs to be put back up on YouTube. So fucking bullies or people that uh, want to be bullies or whatever will, will sit there and think about what they plan on doing to somebody 
because this just shows people aren't gonna fucking take it anymore. And um, yeah, I, I I love it, Casey. You're one of my new fucking heroes. I love you to death. Oh, and before I forget, I want to give props to Link Zero Seven for bringing this to my attention, and props to all my Australian subscribers. <laughs> However many that is, but um, Link has sent me a message saying that um, the mother or the parents of the uh, bully wanted to sue Casey's uh, family for damages, I guess. But um, I just recently read an update that Richard Gale's mother wanted uh, Richard to apologize to Casey for tormenting him. So, looks like the good guys won in this instance right here. And I fucking love that. I love that. It, this makes me so goddamn happy. You guys have no fucking idea. And, um, hmm, what else do I have to say? Oh, Casey Haynes has a, um, Facebook, a public figure, one of the ones that you could just like, and I'm on there, I, pfft, he's a new hero of mine, and, um, what else do I gotta say, oh, okay, just in case any of you assholes try and pull the age card saying, oh, the dude was 16 years old and he did that to a 12 year old, well, let me, let me say this, um, when it comes to bullying, it, it doesn't matter the fucking age. Don't don't even play that fucking bullshit. A bully is a nuisance, a fucking gnat, an annoyance. And if you saw the video and saw that this kid, Casey, didn't want to be fucked with, and he probably knew that he could hurt this kid too, he was just like, chill out, chill out, chill out. You know, and, and he was a... a bigger than than this kid but he was being bullied it doesn't matter it's the mentality behind it so all y'all parents out there that are gonna say that i'm this and i'm that fuck you raise your fucking kids better take a look at yourselves take a look in the fucking mirror and that's all i gotta say casey hanez you're a new hero of mine props to link zero seven and um, that's it. I, I hope that everybody that gets tormented by a bully does something in retaliation. You got to. At this day and age, because teachers don't give a fuck, and a lot of these parents don't give a fuck either. You need to take things into your own hands, unfortunately. And that's it. So, um, hope you all enjoyed this social rant of mine. I know I did. I enjoyed feeding y'all the information, and um, that's it. Like I said, props to Casey, props to Link07, and um, that's it. Rest of y'all, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate, most of all, subscribe. Peace, bitches.